used a little more cowbell. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Alabama. Had no issues there. We're still number two in the country. We went through a bye week. Uh, we didn't get the prospect to commit that we wanted to. We'll look at that here in a minute. But today we're taking on Arkansas heading on the road to Fayetteville. They're number 21 in the country. Six and three. You look at their stats here. They are a heavy run team. I'm sure they got at least one impact guy in the backfield, you would think. And it looks like they got a really good defense. It looks like they got a little more talent than we do, so we may be in for some trouble. We'll see what happens. Should be a lot of fun. Speaking of recruiting, Clint Thomas, he visited in the Arkansas game. He did not commit. He's a soft verbal. It's us and the two Florida schools. We just got to win. That's all you can do. We've already got 34 points on him. I would put more on him, but I got these two strong safeties. I'd love to at least get one of them, so I got to put the points on those guys as well. Both of these guys are ready to take a visit to the Ole Miss game here next week. So hopefully, Clint Thomas will commit today. Stick around to the end of the video to see if that happens. That way, we could put his points on these two guys. That would be nice. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's go to Bowl Rankings. We're still number two. We're going to stay there until USC gets beat. But it looks like it is us and USC. As long as we keep winning, I think we will be fine. We got a bunch of other one-loss teams behind us. If there were some two losses, I wouldn't be too worried about this. But all it takes is one loss. If we go down here with a mix of all these other ones. So, just win. That's all that matters. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Nicholas went down. Looks like Miami's got a halfback that's going up there. Colt McCoy is up there for the Heisman. That wide receiver from Florida who was really good is still there. And NC State has a quarterback, Brock Parquet. That's an awesome name. Good for him. That's a cool name. Brock Parquet. All right, let's go to award finalist. We've reached that part of the season. Nicholas made the final three, but I've seen it a couple times in the past where you could still sneak in the final three towards the end. Either way, he's right there at number three. I wonder if Brown. Brown is seventh, so he's out of the Maxwell, obviously. Bignaric, Charles Burns, he may win this thing. It's quite possible. Got 15 sacks, two forced fumbles. He's playing at an elite level. Quarterback, Bradley won't be on there. He just doesn't have enough touchdowns. Wesley Brown barely made the final three. Not bad for a true freshman who doesn't touch the ball all that much since we're splitting carries. Cool to see him there. Wide receiver, Derek Nicholas. He has 10 touchdowns and 1,400 yards. The next guy has 16 total touchdowns. That's the Bo Tank kid out of Florida. Quan Cosby, Texas. It's possible. I mean, Nicholas, he just needs more touchdowns in order to win this one. But he only has 10, so we'll see how that goes. Tight end, we were not going to have anybody here. Offensive lineman, I think we have at least one guy on here, but we're not, don't see one this year. We had two last year. Remington, I think our guy's on here. Ninth, Dallas Robinson, just a redshirt sophomore. Charles Burns barely made the Lombardi list or the finalist. Let's see, linebacker, I don't think we'll have anybody on here. Thorpe, we haven't had anybody get enough interceptions. Groza, we haven't kicked enough field goals. Punter, I don't think so. Returner, I don't think so either. But coach are right there in the thick of it with uh, Kent State's coach and Miami, which I guess that's still Larry Coker. But we're right there in it. We win, If we win the whole thing or at least get to the SEC Championship game and win it, I could see us winning this award. Okay. Bowl projections. I don't know. Let's see where the championship game is at this year. Rolls Bowl. Okay. with you, That'd be awesome. That's in USC's backyard. Would love to beat them at their backyard and finish this thing. That'd be cool. Players of the Week, I don't care. We can look at the conference standings. Our first goal is always to win 
the conference. The East, it looks like Georgia has it running away. they are got a two-game lead on everybody, and their season's basically over with. They've already played their eight games in the conference. All they got left, I guess, is Georgia Tech and somebody else. Looks like they got another non-conference game on the back end because, you know, we play eight conference games in the SEC. So, it looks like we're going to take on Georgia because you, you see here we got a two-game lead on everybody else, but... It's not finalized yet. We still got to win. We win today, and we'll have that locked up. But we lose today to Arkansas, and then we lose to Ole Miss, and Arkansas will play Georgia. So we got to take care of business. And we got to at least win one of the next two games. Okay, that is it. Let's go ahead and take on Arkansas. It's been a while since I played in their stadium. Hopefully we won't have anybody get in trouble this week. We already had one guy suspended for, what, two more games, I think. Hall, our defensive tackle. That's going to hurt. We really needed him today, but I wanted to get that discipline bar down, so hopefully that's not too big of a hit for us. They got a halfback out. It's almost got a 1,000 yards rushing. That's going to help us some. That's Felix Jones. And it got defensive end out. Of course, our defensive tackle is out. My goal, obviously, we're going. I want to try to win the national championship this year. If I win it this year, then I think I'm going to move on to a new dynasty. I think you'll enjoy it more. We'll get into that later on. All right, looks like we got a night game in Fayetteville. Perfect weather, really cold but windy. Thankfully, we're going to run a lot. We're going to, both teams are going to run a ton today. All right, this is kind of for the Western Division, more or less. Lose today, and it'll get interesting. Wesley Brown still leading the country in touchdowns. By not leading in rushing yards. I think Bradley actually has that. I need to go back and check that. I think I said that last time. Okay. Let's go to the coin toss. They won it. They want the ball first, which is fine. And let's check out their roster. Okay. Started quarterback Cole Barthel or Barthel. 72 speed, he can run a little, but I'm not too worried about it. They got two impact running backs. That's expected. Okay, but Felix Jones is out today, but they're back up. Sam Douglas, I'm sure everything's going to go through this guy, if I had to guess. But just an 86 overall for an impact. Decent fullbacks. Let me go back. He's 89 speed. He's more, he's said he's balanced, okay? We're very fortunate that Jones ain't playing today. Okay, wide receiver group. They got a couple good ones, some really fast speechers. Look at these two guys, 6'7", 178, 6'5", 205. These are the type of guys. This guy right here especially is my type of receiver for my offense. This guy right here, he's just a jump ball receiver. Just do go routes with him and whatnot and let him go up and get it. I'm sure we'll see that a couple times today. That's incredible. Six. This guy is pretty much a basketball player with pads. Tight end, they got a pretty good tight end, but he's 68 speed. I don't expect him to do much today except block. That's pretty cool. He's got uh, number one for a jersey number. Let's look at their offensive line. They are a run-heavy offense. Uh, I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3 as well. Say so 80, 74, arguably the best center in the country, at least talent-wise. 80 and 88, so nothing great on the offensive line except their center. This guy's pretty good as well. They got a starting defensive end out, and their backup is nothing special. Really big guy, 6'7", 247, though. Really good defensive end here, Ted Stooks. 84 and 82 at the tackles, not bad. They got a redshirt freshman at 82 overall. That's pretty good. 80, 84, and 84. Not a bad linebacker group and nothing special. 
I'm guessing their cornerback or their secondary is really good. 86 and 82 at the corners. They got true, wow, true freshman. This guy had to have been like the top corner coming out or they, they just found a diamond in the rough because the highest you can get, highest recruit, true freshman is an 84 overall. They don't make him any higher than that. And this guy's already an 86. I'm guessing he gained those two points throughout the season. Either way, 98 speed, this guy's the real deal. He'll be, he'll win some awards or he'll at least be on some uh, uh, all-conference, all-American list by the time he's gone. Okay, I was fixing to say it's about time. All right, they got a free safety that's arguably the best one in the conference. And not a whole lot of strong safety. Another true fresh, but still 78 overall. 6'2", 218, that's my type of safety right there. He's more or less on that side linebacker. Pretty good kicker and nothing special at punter. Okay. The goal is to shut down the run game and kind of work off of that. You can see the wind doing a bit of an angle. We're going to do a lot of one high today, if I had to guess. Do all of our adjustments. It's a good hit right there. I think he may have lost some yardage. Great hit. Okay. Three wide. Uh, we'll still do a one high. Mississippi State has one of the toughest defenses we've seen. I agree 100%. Let's go here. I wish he would. I wish that safety would go down. He ain't doing it. Hope it doesn't hurt us. Ah, dang it. That's a good play. Went right around me. That ain't good. Got a player hurt. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious, though. I don't like that safety. He's not going down. Somebody got to him. I think it was Burns. You know who? The man, the myth, the legend. Really put on a show all season long. Let's do a... Hmm. I'm going to do cover quarters. I'm not going to do his own blitz. I mean, they're in passing mode right now, but I'm not, I can still see him running it, to be honest. There we go. All right, third and long. This is what we want. So we're going to go nickel cover six, a.k.a. cover three cloud. Third and 13 coming up, and this is the fifth play in the current drive. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He stepped up. Get to him. That's a good try. Almost got the first. All right. Punt the ball. Let's get the ball and see if we can put some points on the board first thing. It's been a while since I've played in this stadium. I like the end zone look there. I think that was a new addition back in the mid-2000s, if I'm not mistaken. Get down, get down. Uh-oh, just don't throw it. Okay, we're on the right hash. And let's do this. And let's do a triple out of the gate. We're going man 4-3. Ooh. I may just hand this off to Brown. Good play there. Pick up the first. We can do QB choice from Gun Ace. We're going zone nickel. Oh, it looks like I'll be handing this one off. Get a block. 
Good play there. Good little block right there. Ah, stupid joystick. Uh, let's see if I can... There we go. Let's put one... There we go. All right. Good little block right there by the tight end for me to go outside the B gap. And a good block there by Nicholas. I didn't get the first, though, but good little play. Let's go... Let's do a P.E. read off of that. We got a down to play with. We're going man dime. I may hand this off. No, that's good defense. Left tackle didn't block. So third and three. We'll go speed option. They're going man again. Dime. Hopefully we can get the first on this one. Did I get it? I don't know if I did. Just enough. Jeez. Whew. We'll take it. All right, let's do QB choice. We're going 4-3 zone. This may not work at all. I may just keep this. Good play by Brett. Oh, oh my gosh. I think I could have went even further. I'm an idiot. We'll break this play down, though. Interesting play here. I knew my running back wasn't going to be able to do anything with it, and that tight, and that defensive end decided to cut over at the last second. So I'm keeping here, and I got great blocking for all my receivers. And if I would have known better, I could have, like, maybe snuck in and kept on going. I probably got a, got, a, got a touchdown. Maybe not, but either way, that was close. All right, let's do a wide receiver option. I have to go on 4-3 again. Zone. Oh, dang it, too. That's why I shouldn't have pitched it. Usually, again, zone, I just need to keep that. There's too many holes and gaps for somebody to make a play. So we're very fortunate we got the ball back there. All right, let's do our deep cross-up since we're in the middle of the field. I'm not feeling a whole lot of heat. Pick up the first. Good catch. Good play by the strong safety. He didn't bite on it. Okay. Let's do QB choice from trips over. Let's get Tereshinsky going for Cam. Zone 4-3. I may just keep this. That's just good defense. <clears throat> Let's go speed option, see if we can make up for it. We're going man nickel. Looks like I'm going to go right. Let's bring him over. I'm going to keep that. I didn't want to pitch it, and I was a little nervous about that. Third and seven. Let's do halfback corner. We're going zone, so we'll see what happens here. Love to give it to Nicholas over the middle. Going cover two. Nice. Six points. Good throw. And I saw it said, uh, did he get the that's most touchdowns by a receiver at Mississippi? 11? Was that what that showed? I wasn't halfway paying attention. I think that's what it said, though. He beat Humphrey's record. Let's put it that way. Which isn't saying a whole lot. That tells me Mississippi State has no history of passing <laughs> if a guy or just has 11. That's all about the change with Mike Leach at Mississippi State. Give him a few years and he'll be slinging it. I mean, oh, well, that first season this year, I'm sure he'll break all the records alone. It just That's just what that offense does. Cool to see him down there. He's always been one of my favorite coaches. All right, that's a good start. Let's get back on defense. Go back to a one height. I gotta remember I don't have the depth of defensive tackle, so whenever I can, I need to sprinkle in some three four. Good play there, a little under front. Got Sanders around for the tackle. I'm still gonna do a one high. I don't trust him. I fully expect him to throw it or to run it. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. Hot, hot. 
draw. Good stop there. So now it's what, third and something? All right, that is end of the quarter. That was a quick quarter. Both teams are just running it. So this is probably going to be a quick game, if I had to guess. So we'll go to cover the three cloud. Sack. I was able to get around the left tackle. <clears throat> I was able to go inside. Let me show a replay here. And not the best angle, but I was able to get to him. <laughs> Weird looking sack. Love to get a touchdown here to get some separation on the scoreboard. Eh, we'll fair catch that one. Let's go. Let's do some triple from two back slot. They'll probably go four three. Yeah, they're going zone. Doing that. That's eh, good play. Good defense. Injured himself though. Speaking of, what happened to that other guy? Did he come back? They never said anything. He's okay, I guess. I guess he wasn't too seriously hurt. Okay, let's go. I want to do speed opposite from bunch. It's second down and eleven to go. Again, they're, they're, they're love going four three. They'll probably do that to me all day. They're going doing that. That's great defense. Nothing you could do about that. Uh, third and ten. Let's go. Let's do wide receiver under. They're going man, and they're bringing both inside corners. It looks like. So I'm probably going to go Stewart over the top. Nope, not even close. I may get picked. Yeah. That's a punt. We can treat it as a punt. He just overthrew it big time. I had no pressure. He just overshot it. Well, that's not what we want. But we'll go back on defense and see if we can get another stop. Fumble. Get it. Oh, big play. Tit for tat. Now, I don't know what happened here. Was that me? I I got the edge. I got the halfback. That was a strip sack by 35 by you-know-who, Sanders. Golly, that kid's a stud. All over the field. All right, we're on the 19. Um, I'd love to go play action here. We may just wait. Let's go QB choice. We're going man again, 4-3. Let's bring him over. Ooh, not what we wanted there. Ooh, we got around him, though. Thankfully, he cut inside instead of out. Otherwise, that would have been a busted play. Let's go back. Let's do QB choice from here. Zone 4-3. They got a lot of bodies on that side, but we're going to go ahead and... Get right here for six points. Good little run by Tereshinsky. It's been a while since he's got a touchdown. Just enough. He's our speedster of the bunch. Both him and Thomas, I think, got about the same speed. Thomas may be a little faster. All right, let's get back on defense and keep wrecking havoc. Thankfully, we're doing a pretty good job on their halfback. He's not doing much to us yet. I'm sure he'll break a tackle or two and get a big play eventually. Uh, let's 
Go back to one high. They'll take over at the 17-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Get a tackle there. I thought they was going to go to their big receiver on the left. I probably need to double team him, to be honest. That means we're sacrificing a one on one on the other side. But you do what you got to do. That's to their tight end. Got nothing there, so it's third and long. We'll just go back to Cloud. Third eleven coming up here. Ball on the sixteen yard line. Arkansas comes out of the shotgun. Watch the throw screen. Good play there. That makes a lot of sense. Go to a screen, but their quarterback may not be all that good of a thrower, so they're probably thinking let's just punt it and be done with it, but We'll take it either way. All right, hopefully we can get a good convincing win today to convince that other quarterback to commit. So, again, make sure you stay to the end of the video to see if he does commit. Uh, I'm going to fair catch that. Uh, I could have maybe done something. That's okay. All right, left hash. I want to go out of the gate and let's do a PE read. We're going zone 4-3. We'll probably throw this. Let's get some yards. Not a whole lot. Let's do speed. Zone dime. Ooh, let's go. Ah, I forgot to. Ah, I forgot to motion somebody over. That's okay. All right, we're in the middle of the field. We'll do deep cross up. I normally don't do this on third down, but we'll give it a shot. We're going zone again. Not a big fan of that shift. We got around him. Big play by you know who. By Nicholas. And King is hurt. That is our fourth receiver, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go back and let's do triple. They're going man 4-3. They're shifting in that, so we'll probably just hand this off. I wish it was a little bit slower where you can actually read. Like, see, I just... Sometimes... This guy would have done a spy. It's not a design, hey, I'm going to read the, the quarterback or the halfback. This was a spy. So that's just good defense on their part. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's just not as consistent. All right, it's third and long. Let's go on the 23. I wonder if we got enough room to run slot cross. For going zone, we're about to find out. Normally, I like to do this in the middle of the field. we got more field to play with. Push him over. I'm going to run some clock since the half is about over with. Doing that. Oh, big play. <laughs> that was, I thought I threw it too hard. Good catch, though, by Nicholas. Now you can see why that play is works a little bit better in the middle of the field or even further back just because you got more field to actually work with. All right, let's do our goal line play. King is coming back. That's good. We've been very fortunate on the injuries this season. I know Hall was out for a few games. Then he came back, and then he got in trouble. And we'll run a little clock. Easy touchdown. Good deal. Okay. We're really stretching our lead. Let's survive these next 30 seconds, and then we'll go in the third quarter. We'll get the ball back. Hopefully, we can stretch that lead to four touchdowns. And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. So far, this has been pretty easy. Their run game, we've been able to shut it down pretty well. 
if Jones was playing, I think it'd be a little bit different. We're just, we lucked out and he's not. Alright, I'm guessing they're going to run out the clock. I could be running some 4-4. I didn't think about that. Our 4-3 seems to be working okay, though. Alright, good play. Good run. Juke me. So now they're going to be in passing mode, I guess. This going, going forward. Uh, I'm going to take a chance here. We're going to go with a zone blitz. I'm guessing they're going to pass. Look out now. This defensive end is in the zone. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Once it all. Intercept that. Big play by Ewing. Just a terrible throw. He threw it too early, I guess. So there's 16 seconds left. What I may do is just we're on our own 33. We can try one play. Let's go wide receiver under. We're going zone dime. I probably need to be taking a knee here, but that's okay. Not feeling it fair. Looks like we're going cover two. Interception. And like I said, I probably should have just took a knee. So now they have a chance to do a Hail Mary play. I threw that way too late. That's just a good defensive play right there. All right, we're going to go cover two man. Looks like they're not doing the Hail Mary. That's interesting. Going with a screen. Interesting play call. Ooh, one second. They may kick a field goal. They got a kicker that's good enough. Oh, it ended. Oh, I thought it had one second left. Okay, we looked out there big time. Very fortunate. I should have just took a knee. All right, you look at the – neither. I mean, we got 159 yards of offense, but I think we had a short field on a couple spots there. Interceptions galore today. That's just kind of what it's been. Uh, I guess they had one fumble for each as well, yeah. Uh, there's no need to look at the individual stuff. I don't think that matters. We can look at that at the end of the game. Ooh, let's go out with it. Everybody and their brothers kind of went up in the middle. Okay, let's go. We haven't called the double running back play yet. This is why I don't call it as often. They always go 4-3 against this formation. That's... I couldn't go to the outside. They were blitzing. That's just a good defensive play there. Second and nine. Let's do speed option. Four, three. Man. He's doing that. Uh, uh, let's just go to a right. Somebody's blitzing on that side as well. So it's what? Third and three. Oh, Bradley injured his foot. No! No! Hopefully it's nothing serious. Oh, that's not what we want to see. I don't think I've seen this full animation before, to be honest. Okay. It is uh, third and three. We'll let Brown do a halfback direct. They're going zone dime at least. Good block there. Just get the first. Okay, I think he's a bit gassed. Yeah, we'll give him a bit of a break. We'll do QB choice from going 4-3. Zone. At least they're doing that. And it's just good defense. I, I could have maybe went to the outside, possibly. Let's do speed option from trips over. After the game. Could be worse. All right. Turf toe. Let's just survive this game and get to the Ole Miss game if we can. That's just good defense all around. Now let's go look at McCoy's arm. I don't think it's that special. 89 and 80 on the accuracy. 
I mean, we can try to do our normal stuff here. Since it's third and long, we can go back to halfback corner. We're going man. Let's see if he can make this comeback route. He's coming down. I'm going to take a chance. We're going to go over the top just in case. I'd rather do it with Nicholas. Besides, he's got a mismatch situation, so that's what we're going to try. And a, just a bad throw. He underthrew it. Wow, so we've seen some interesting, interesting throws today. An overthrow by Bradley. He just, and then bad underthrow by McCoy. Look at this diving catch. Wow. A lot of interceptions. Neither quarterback is playing well. Okay. That was the right call to make. I mean, I, I looked out and guessed right that they went cover zero and I went to the right matchup. It's just a bad throw. It happens. Get a stop there by somebody. There we go. We'll go here. The Razorbacks come out with split back. Going out of pro twins. Going with the toss. Good stop there. Third and long. Thankfully, we have a three score lead. Otherwise, I'd be very nervous right now. Oh my gosh, I over pursued. I should have gotten the sack. Dang it. I was right there. We got to stop, though. That's all that matters. So let's get the ball back, and I may run some clock while still trying to score. I just don't trust McCoy to really make plays for us. <laughs> Maybe on the in the run game he can. Like we can try some power option. He should be able to handle the runs okay. Man four three. The bulldog. Come out the shotgun. Get a block. Right. Now I'm just gonna hold on to it. Good play there, pick up a first. We'll do QB choice from Bunch. Going zone dime. About time. We're doing that. I'm still going to hand it off. We'll run some clock. Might as well. There's no reason for us to hurry up and try to score. I wouldn't worry so much about this if McCoy was out, or if Bradley was out there, but he's not. Good blocking there. Great play. I oh, love this blocking here. Right tackle had a good block. Nicholas had a good block on the linebacker. And since it's a zone, very good chance I'm going to cut up field. Now, I probably could have done. No, he's just sitting right there. That's why you try to cut up field when you can to get in zone. So you're just cutting up field. And then it's just off to the races after that. I'm glad I didn't fumble it there. Let's go back the here and let's do the our goal line play. play. We don't normally just reserve that for the goal line, but it can work anywhere else, I would guess. Now I think we're going zone here. Yeah, they're going zone. We'll just leave them over there for now. Again, against zone, you just cut up field when you can, find the hole. And get vertical. Good block there. Get about six yards. Let's see. We'll do QB choice from Ace. We're going zone nine. I'm okay with that. We're doing that. I wonder if I flipped it. Would he? Yeah, he goes the other way. At least we're getting away from that impact. Safety. Almost got the first. Not enough. Let's do direct at a white trips this time. We're going zone 4 3. Everybody and their brother shifting that way, but I'll still run in that direction. Hopefully, we got enough blockers over there. 
could get interesting. I'll probably go for it if I don't get it. I'm not going to use the speed button. We're just going to find a hole and just cut up field for first if possible. A kid's tap! Ah! Ah! Gosh, what a run! That's what happens when you don't use the speed button. You get plays like that. Look at this. Get off me, son! Ah! What a stud. All right, we're on the five-yard line. He is gassed to no end. Uh, Let's do this, and we'll do the option give. We'll flip it. We'll let Jenkins handle it. Now, West Brown should not be out there, but he's out there for whatever reason. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. I would love to give it to Brown, let him earn the touchdown, but he's gassed, so we're not going to bother. All right, that should have sealed it. We still got a whole quarter to go, but we're up four scores. We'll probably just leave it everything as is. We may get one more touchdown to put in our second string. Remember what happened the last time we put in our second string? Kentucky almost came back and <laughs> about made a game out of it. That shows you that our depth isn't where it needs to be, but... Our first string is good enough to win all these ball games. Let's put it that way. Plus, this offense is hard to stop if you've got the, the players to run it. It's a good tackle there. Uh, I'll go with the one high. You'd think that'd be pure passing mode at this point, but they don't have a quarterback to, to throw it. If their running game isn't going, they have no chance. Yeah, and they're still going to run it. Those toss plays don't work all that well, unfortunately. They work pretty well in, those, in Madden 07, which I'm very happy with. I'm really enjoying that. I'm really looking forward to see what that Bengals franchise is going to look like. Over there. Oh, get a tackle. Ooh. All it took was one broken tackle, and it could have got nasty. All right, third and six. Our cover three cloud has been working great today. Oops. And we still got the stop. I thought I got off sides. <laughs> I moved too early, but I guess I didn't go over the line. Okay, got the ball back. We'll keep doing the same stuff. We'll run some clock. I'd love to run the rest of the quarter out. That'd be great. Let's get a block right there. He's going to catch me. Let's do a QB choice with Tereshinsky. We're going zone. I like the movement. Now you see why I do what I'm doing. For going zone, I get an extra blocker with Nicholas. Hand it off to him. Since it's zone, I'm cutting up field as best I can because of that guy right there. Great block by Nicholas. The ref had a good block on the safety. Oh, great little run. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's do QB choice from wide trips. Not one of my favorite versions of it. They're going zone and they're shifting that way, so we're definitely going to uh, hand this off. I'm going to see if I can get a decent block with Nicholas. Nope, didn't really get anybody, but we're going to still get close to a first down. And they got a guy hurt. Into his hand. I want to try. It's sickening inches. I want to go right here. And we're going to do this 
where's it at? Triple QB option. That's This is the one where if you keep it with the quarterback, he cuts up field really hard, like vertically. But they are doing a lot of that stuff, so I may just be handing this off. I'm going to get an extra blocker right here. Ooh. That's interesting. You move your tight end over, he goes into the slot. That actually helped out right there, so I'm still going to... Oh, dang it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oh, I was talking too much. Let's try that again. Now they're going zone. Either way, I, that probably would have been a touchdown if I would have snapped it in time. Okay, they're going zone and they're spreading out, so I want to keep it with the quarterback and watch him just cut up field really quick. Now, that's just great defense. Neither defensive end got blocked. So it's third and eight. Let's go. Um... I'm going to go back to wide receiver under again. For going zone. I'll read the shallow first and then go over to the angle route. We'll run some clock first. Still got our first string out there. Yep, not seeing anything there. They're going cover two. Ah, good defense. Threw a little too hard, I guess. Now, where are we? We're on the 33. My kicker cannot make that throw. Or, I mean, it, he cannot make that kick. I don't think I can make that kick. So, let's just try. Let's just go with a third down play. We'll go halfback circle. We're going man. Now, one thing I want to try. Hmm, let's just see. We'll leave it as is. The defense lines up with six DB. And he drops it. What do you do? And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. Oh, I bet it's huge. Okay. That was a good throw. Gives me hope with McCoy that he can make a throw like that every once in a while. Ooh. If I had have goofed up there, that would have been six points. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if they ran out some clock as well. You got to hit him a couple times before he goes down. That's with any impact running back. But this kid, he's just an 86 overall impact running back. A little bit different than like Felix Jones, who would have done more damage to us today. I didn't have to do that. Let me go back. He drops back. Eh, crap. <laughs> Six points. He still didn't get in. It's a shame. They should have been given to their big wide receiver all game, and they haven't. That's their fault. Open field tackling is not my strong suit. <laughs> That's what I get for holding down the speed button. You can control your defender better if you don't use the speed button. And I touched it. Okay. We'll get the ball back and try to run out the rest of the clock. I may have to do some basic runs first before we go to QB Neal. Besides, they're probably going to call timeouts on us. They're a big fan of their uniforms only because their helmet didn't match their jersey. That's just a bit of an OC thing, OCD thing for me. And he caught it. Let's just get down. We'll just call some triple. Again, if I went Neil, they're going to call timeout anyways. It's, uh, it's a good defense. Oop, they're not going to call a timeout. Interesting. Okay. I still need to run it like one more time. I, think, I don't think I can run out the clock. We're going, man. Everybody and their brother is kind of doing that. We're going to run to our left. We're going to leave it as is. Hopefully I can stay in bounds. Thankfully, Bradley's not seriously hurt. 
He'll be back for the Ole Miss game. We'll just pick up the first down and end it. All right, good deal. Good win. One went away. We got to beat Ole Miss. We got to figure out how to beat them. Hopefully, we don't have too many issues there. But we're just one step closer to completing our ultimate goal of winning a national championship. My next dynasty is going to feature an FCS team. We're going to do a full slow grind dynasty, a true rebuild. It's going to take me several years. I think you all would enjoy that more than what you're seeing now. I have a feeling that you guys are getting kind of bored with what you're seeing here. I hope not, but if so, that's okay. I can fix that with the new dynasty. It'll be a lot more fun and challenging anyways. Looks like I got to snap it one more time. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I've already picked my team. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I would prefer it to happen after this season. That way we can get right into it. I'd hate to finish this particular dynasty without winning a national championship, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Once we get closer to that, I can ask you all kind of what you want to see with that. Okay, let's check out some stats. Other big thing with the new dynasty, you know, on my Patreon page, those who are patrons can uh, get their name into the game by putting their name on a future recruit. And I'd rather do that in the next dynasty instead of this one because this dynasty probably won't last long. I'd rather see your name in there for four years instead of one, if that makes sense. Okay, offensively, neither team didn't do a whole lot. Of course, we just ran out of clock towards the end and our quarterback went out. So there's not a whole lot to see here. The big thing was the interceptions, four turnover or inter interceptions. Neither quarterback played all that well. 10 of 11 for this quarterback, 87 yards, but he had one interception. Technically, he went 11 for 11. You look at our quarterback, 5 of 7. His two incompletions were interceptions, so there was not one incomplete pass all day, technically, which is pretty interesting to see that. You look at our stats here, nobody rushing didn't do a whole lot. Brown got a touchdown. Tereshinsky got a touchdown. As you can tell, Brown... Got the bulk of the carries. Had about, what, six guys get to touch the ball on the ground. Receiving, it was all Nicholas with his touchdown. I was just curious to see about the defensive tackles. Nothing special there. Okay, let's get out of here and let's see if we can sneak up and get a commitment from that corner. That would be great. We may not ever get to see him play, but you got to play these games in this dynasty like you're going to play it forever until you make your changes. All right, let's see what happens. Again, if I win the national championship, I'm going to move on to that next dynasty. I got some really cool ideas for you. Some new offensive stuff you've never seen before. I think you'll really like it. Plus, I think you'll like the slow grind. And uh, I've got some interesting recruiting restrictions, more or less, on it. Keep it realistic. As realistic as you can. Should be really cool. Again, I hope I can get that started right after this dynasty. No offense to this, what I'm doing right now, but I have some cool ideas. I think you guys will enjoy it more. I know sometimes you wish I would lose a game or two to keep things interesting, but, I mean, it is what it is when you win it. Now, I thought about increasing sliders a little bit. I still may do that in the new dynasty, but it's, trust me, anytime you start with an FCS school, it's going to be challenging. And it looks like he didn't commit. So let's go to recruiting. Out of nowhere, the Bulldogs are number two. We've been number two all year, buddy. It seems like it. He still hasn't decided yet. We're still like the soft verbal. That tells me he hasn't visited one of the Florida schools. Otherwise, he just can't make up his mind. Now, we still got these two guys. We can go ahead and get these prestige or these pitches out of the way. Program or coach prestige, location, and playing time. Let's just do program prestige for this kid. And for this one right here, coaching style, program prestige, location. Let's do coach prestige for him. Those are usually the two more popular pitches. So we'll go with that. So maybe after the Ole Miss game, we'll get all three to commit or something. We'll see what happens. Because that's what's up next. This was our one bugaboo last year was Ole Miss. They just 
played perfect football and we didn't. It was just a big mess. Hopefully, we can remedy that in the next game. Beat them. We've already won the Western Division, so we're going to take on Georgia for a rematch with them. We took care of business against them last year. Hopefully, we can do the same here in a couple games. And if all goes according to plan, we'll be playing probably USC in the National Championship game. So come on back. That's two videos from now. The next video, we'll have, play our first preseason game in our Cincinnati Bengals dynasty, or franchise. It should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.